first and foremost, assault rifles, the, the heart and soul of Call of Duty in general. The AR meta, in my opinion, is decent, if not pretty fucking good, particularly after the very recent Grau nerf. Uh, the Grau is still very good. It didn't get gutted, but um, it's debatable if it's like the best gun for Warzone, for example. It is still in no way the best assault rifle for multiplayer. Um, and I think that is uh, a good thing because the growl before this was the gun for Warzone. And now it may or may not be, but it's definitely in the air right now. Um, so that's... Uh, that's where I stand, at least when it comes to the to the growl. Anything to add there, Tanner? Your thoughts on the growl in general? No, that sounds perfect. Okay. So next, we also had the foul get buffed. Um, in my opinion, the foul's overpowered in multiplayer uh, a lot because it's a one-shot headshot outside of like 18 meters, which is way too fucking far. Uh, so it's OP. But the good news is an overpowered semi-auto is not nearly as good as an overpowered full auto. So you can compare how OP the foul is to like the Hades crossbar and Black Ops 4 pre-nerf. That was oh, also shit. overpowered, but it was also extremely easy to use. And that is the that is the that's the deadly combo you want to avoid. If something's really OP and easy to use, everyone's gonna use it and the game's gonna be cancer. But when you make something like an an FAL overpowered because it's semi-automatic, even though it's OP, it's still going to be less prevalent. It still requires more skill than an average assault rifle to use. So it's not the end of the world, but it definitely needs to be nerfed. It shouldn't be a one shot kill uh, to the head and multiplayer at any range. In my opinion, do you disagree with that Tanner? I don't, but the thing is with semi-automatic weapons, no matter how OP it is, you're not going to have that many people using it either way. Like, if it's not fully automatic, people don't care, and the majority of players aren't going to use it. So, you know, like you're saying, if it is overpowered, it's not nearly as bad as that. Is it being that way if it were a fully automatic assault rifle? So it's not that big of a deal. Um, I still haven't got to use it post-patch. So I'm excited to try it out. But I mean, people are saying it's really good in Warzone too. Yes, it is. It is. But in my opinion, it's not as overpowered in Warzone as it is in multiplayer. And here's why. All of its buffs, all the buffs that the foul received are within 15 or 18 meters. Outside of that, every damage value is the same. So it's not really good. I mean, it's good outside of 15 meters, but it's not OP outside of 15 meters. It's very much balanced outside of that. So it's really good at very close range, but now we're in like MP5 cat, uh, territory as well. Yeah. Now, does it kill faster than an MP5 inside of 15 meters? Yes. Does it kill a lot faster than an MP5 inside of 15 meters? Also, yes. But as you were saying, it's a lot more difficult to use than an MP5 because it's not full auto. Uh, so that kind of tempers the overpoweredness of it. Um, but it is very fucking good. And it's fun, by the way. It's very yeah. fun to use. And it's by no means terrible outside of 15 meters. It's just not OP like it is inside of it. Um, and then another reason that it's not going to be overpowered in Warzone is that it lacks versatility. As I was alluding to in the pre-show, it's hard to kill people at range because if they're very far away, you have to track the person while repeatedly pulling the trigger. And if you've never used a semi-auto, you might th you might think that's trivial, but it's not. It's a lot harder to do than you think, and it's a lot harder to do than to track someone while you're merely holding down the trigger. But if you have to constantly have your trigger finger just fucking blasting, while you're also trying to track someone and deal with independent recoil spikes rather than a consistent recoil pull, uh, it's a lot more difficult. Uh, so that makes it a lot less vers versatile at killing at range. And it also can't shoot down vehicles very well. If you compare it to like a, a growl with 60 bullets and there's some helicopter above you, 
track it easily, hold down the trigger, you're doing a ton of damage to it. With the Fowl, you're not doing as much damage. Your magazine's half the size as a, as a Growl with 60 rounds, which is what most people run. Uh, it's just not as good at doing that. So I don't know if it's... It, it's just not going to be that popular in Warzone no matter how disgusting it gets. So uh, that's, that's how I see the Fowl. I just find it difficult dropping an SMG, like an MP5 that I can hip fire, kill somebody easily mm -hmm. for an FAL, which can be really good if you land your shots. That's just a hard choice to make. Cause it's basically like, if I was gonna run it, then I would run probably an FAL with like an AX50. So then it's like, uh, is it worth it? You know, mm -hmm. it's trade off. Yeah, so it's not sure. overpowered in Warzone, if that's the case, like you're saying. It's it's just overpowered in multiplayer. That's kind of where I'm at. Yeah. Yeah. It has the potential to be insane in Warzone. But it's like, it, okay, but if we're talking potential, the MG34 has the potential to be overpowered in Warzone because it has the fastest time to kill of every automatic weapon in the game. So you can take someone from full armor to down faster than any other automatic weapon in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 with an MG34. Let's but, try it. But no one's, I'm going to, I have my setup. But no one's going to tell me, no one's going to say the MG34 is OP in Warzone because they recognize that it lacks versatility. And I think that people need to be careful saying the fouls overpowered in Warzone because in the same vein, it also lacks versatility. It doesn't lack it in the same way that the MG34 lacks it. But it does, nonetheless, in some aspects, lack that versatility that you want. Uh, next point here, the Kilo, the Ram, the M13, the M4, the Odin, and the Galil are all fine. They are like the average ARs. Now, this might be a controversial point, so I'm going to say them again. The Kilo, Ram, M13, M4, Odin, Galil are all average tanner your thoughts well interesting the the m4 is good if you're gonna put the fal in its own category uh, which I just got know. buffed so the odin is shit tier that needs to be in the shit tier category um mm. the m4 ram and galil are slightly higher than the kilo and the M13. That's the way I look at it. The M4 is still really good. It's not, you can't put the M4 in an average category with the Odin. You just can't. You I'm just talking can't. Warzone and multiplayer, by the way. Just well, overall. If we're talking multiplayer, then all, I mean, if it's multiplayer, then every single kid in the Call of Duty League uses an M4. So that tells you something for that when yeah, it comes but, to ARs, at least. Okay. But they also have a bunch of banned weapons and attachments. So okay, well, I'll not tell you one thing: the, but weapons. The Odin is not banned. They're just not using it because it's shit. Sure. Okay. So. Um. Yeah. You are right, though. I mean, they're all they're all similar in that category. Like you're saying, the whole AR category is pretty balanced. Yes. There are guns that need to be worked on, and then there's just a lot of guns that you can pick and choose between. So that's good. That's good we have that. Ooh, okay. Um, and it's fun to see. Yeah. So my next note here is that the fact that we can debate which of these assault rifles is the best is a good thing. And that is the evidence for the fact that these assault rifles are fairly balanced. Mm-hmm. That's kind of my point. So, like, if I ran a poll between all of the drop shot listeners and I said, rank these uh, six assault rifles, everyone would have a different answer. That means it's pretty balanced. And further, there would not be one gun out of these six that everyone has listed as number one. That means... Right back. Okay. That means that the assault rifles are balanced. Uh, now, you may... Obviously, I could rank order these two. I think there is a a best and a worst of these six, uh, depending on the depending on a lot. And that's kind of the point. It's it's like 
A lot of them are situationally good. Uh, depends on the mode, the map, uh, Warzone versus multiplayer. But the fact that the bulk of these uh, can be debated means that they are fairly balanced. And if we were to compare this to, uh, you know, other Call of Duties, where everyone knows what the most OP assault rifle is, I think that's a good thing. And we could even compare this to MW 2019 at launch, where if I asked everyone listening what the best assault rifle is, 100% of people would say the same thing, the M4. Uh, but they've nerfed it, but not gutted it, such that they are all roughly on par. And I think that that is a, uh, a great thing, an absolutely great thing. Uh, so that's, that's a really good state of the, state of the weapon balance meta as, as far as assault rifles go. The AK, the SCAR, and the FAMAS, however, are fucking trash are fucking trash. They have no place anywhere ever. And this needs to be changed. And I think further, this is especially true the, for the FAMAS, which uh, for you new frogs, the FR-556, um, because there are no good burst fire weapons in this game. And that is a shame. That is a shame. Because if we go to the Call of Duty roots, guess what? Weapons typically were very good. It's three characters. I'll give you a hint. M16. There's the yep. answer. M16. Where's my M16? Well, it's not the FAMAS. Because the FAMAS is hot fucking garbage. It's awful. And it is a shame that there are exactly and precisely zero good burst fire weapons in this game. Especially, by the way, with a game with such a fast time to kill in such a low health total, you would think that there's not only one serviceable burst fire weapon, but multiple. But lo and behold, there are none. And there never were any, by the way. It's not like the FAMAS used to be good and now it's garbage. It was always shit. Just hot shit. Um, and then the AK and the SCAR, which are not coincidentally, by the way, both uh, 7.62 assault rifles are also fucking terrible uh and this is a this is a travesty and i wish that all three of these weapons uh would be buffed tanner your thoughts one of the main reasons i was excited for a modern warfare title is because i couldn't wait to use the ak because mm -hmm. it just brought me back to the feeling of call of duty 4 i'm like oh dude it's the AK, it's gonna be so fun and then it, they started coming out the leaks thing like you can change the ammo type you can convert it into an ak-74 and i was oh i was getting so excited and they fucking ruined it. It's such a shit AR. And while you're on the topic, the FAMAS, like the Swordfish in BO4, since that's the last game, the Swordfish was one of my favorite guns to use in that game. It was so fun. Such a good gun. And then they add in a burst FAMAS in this game, and it's dog shit. Mm -hmm. It's not worth using ever. So it just, that pisses me off. You're right. I mean, they've done good with the weapon balancing overall, but those three weapons... They need some help, big time. Big time, big time. How would you buff each of those? AK, I think, well, actually, so all of them need quicker ADS speed and slightly lower recoil. The SCAR needs a bigger magazine. Um, and the FAMAS just doesn't do, I feel like it doesn't have a lot of damage at range. Is that how it is, or am I just feeling that because it's burst? That is exactly a lot of how I feel about the FAMAS. does not okay. have enough range, yeah. Yeah, yeah so that's how I feel about them. That's interesting. I feel differently about how I would fix them. The AK, the, w the way I would fix it... So look, the AK and the SCAR are both 7.62, and those need to be impactful. Uh, they already do the correct amount of damage. Their damage values and their damage range is correct right now, as far as I'm concerned. What is not correct in the case of the AK is its recoil. Way too much recoil by default. And if you need, if you want to make that gun have good enough, like you need to have enough recoil control to use the weapon at fairly long range because using 
an assault rifle at fairly long range is the only reason you're going to use a 7.62 assault rifle. The advantage of 7.62 is the damage range and the damage itself. So if I'm going to do that, but it's also going to have a fuck ton of recoil. Well, having a lot of recoil is fine if someone's really close. But the reason I picked the 7.62 gun is so that it has range. Yeah. So now the AK has all this range, but the recoil is so bad that you actually can't use it at range. You can only use it up close. But then the problem with that is it handles way too slowly to be used effectively up close, which leaves the AK in no man's land. Because if you fit it, if you kit it for uh, a lot of recoil control so that you actually can use it at range, it's way too slow. And you almost are at LMG level shit mobility. Um, and then you might as well use an LMG. Or you can kit it for speed and then uh, you, you can't shoot anyone outside of 30 meters because uh, it recoils so fucking much. So I think the AK needs... A little faster handling, not much faster, let's not get crazy, a little faster handling, and a little less recoil. The SCAR? Dude, I'm vi I don't know how I would fix the SCAR. I have to admit it. I don't know what <laughs> really? you would do. I don't know what you do. Because if... If you buffed the mobility... Like, the SCAR has very good recoil... Very good damage range. Um, I think the magazine size is actually fine for how much damage it does. I wouldn't change that. So the only drawback of the scar is what, and what makes it shit is its mobility. But if you made its mobility much better, it would go from being terrible to OP. Because, because it has good recoil and because it does so much damage. So I guess I would say, tentatively, the SCAR needs faster ADS speed, but don't touch the sprint out time. So it should still have slow sprint out time, but it should ADS more quickly than it does now. That is tentatively what I would say to fix the SCAR. But I don't know. I, I'm open to suggestions on that. Um, and then in the case of the FAMAS, it needs way more range. I think that's all it needs. Because the FAMAS does reliably one tap inside of like 15, 20 meters. That should be almost doubled. Uh, and then it would be, uh, you know, a usable burst fire uh, assault rifle. That's, that's the way I see it.